Welcome to Retro Inebriation. Welcome. This is Brent. This is Brian. This is Golden Axe Warrior. Which I have never played before. And it uses the word usurped. <laughs> it does. Usurped. Uh, this is for the Sega <laughs> Master System. Sega Master System. Look at that title screen. Which is really cool. That yes. flapping cape. Even, yeah, even the graphic. That does look nice. Brent is already six shots in. Yep. Um, got about ten minutes or so until the next one. His character's gonna be sawed and we can move on. Oh my god. You think I'm so predictable? You are. It's still saw. <laughs> it's the same name, you just spelled it differently. Yeah. Let's read that. It's a saw. Firewood's facing a crisis. Death Adder attacked and stole nine crystals which protected us. Death Adder killed your parents. Destroyed <laughs> Death Adder! <laughs> I love it. I wish it and ended. get those nine I crystals. I wish it just ended with... No, no that's that. beautiful that he just throws that <laughs> in at the end. Or even better if it just said now. Like, you scroll <laughs> up just for the word now. To All right, up. so this is probably not what you were expecting. For a Golden for Axe a game? game? No, it was not. I think um, I'm looking at Dragon Warrior at the moment. Yes. So, a little game that some of you may have heard of was released on the NES called The Legend of Zelda. I've heard of that game. Yes. Um, this also has six files, so now, <laughs> if, if Brian decides to continue playing, his name would be Tissa. Uh, you can talk to those other people there, too, but they don't, they don't say anything. You don't have to. Right, so this game... Um, <laughs> Just walk through. Yeah, well, I, I... This game is... If there is a flaw in this game, it's that it is very, very hard. Um, <clears throat> when you start. Once you get some better armor and stuff, the, okay. game, the game gets easier. But right off the bat, because you can go anywhere, <clears throat> but there are places that you should and shouldn't go. So, like, you can fight in-game characters and stuff, like, right off the get-go. So, if you go the wrong way, which we will not, because I, I know this game very well. <laughs> it won't be like the ninth dungeon. No, no, it's not going to be like that. So, anyways, we're about to get a heart. Yeah, do 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 Anyways. <laughs> but Zelda comes out <clears throat> and Sega says we need to make a game like that to counter that because this game is insanely popular everybody loves it because it was you know so great and so because it was insanely popular yeah. and everybody loved it so this game comes out between Zelda and A Link to the Past um wait do we just skip over Link 2? yes oh this is the first dungeon I, I, I assumed I may know my way around this game this game just a little bit. Oh, it helps if you face them. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, we're in the first labyrinth, not dungeon. Oh, of course, because that makes it completely <laughs> different. But anyways, halfway through production of this game, they said, you know what will add um, popularity and the ability to sell this game is if we have a popular IP. Tie it to a franchise. So the game became Golden Axe Warrior. And you know what? It backfired. Because if you go and read the reviews... Everyone's pissed off that it's not a hack Everyone's pissed off that it's not a Golden Axe game. And it got horrid reviews. And this game is, is really good. I think that this, or one other game, which will remain in secret, will end up Brian's favorite game on the Seven Master System. Because he likes adventure games, exploring games, and this... I do. It's very, I mean, it's really good. And it falls between <clears throat> the original Zelda and Link to the Past. Or the puzzles are not as elaborate as A Link to the Past, but obviously the graphics and, and some of the, the gameplay elements are more advanced than the original in Nintendo. So it's a very unique experience. There's not another game out there that I can think of that's... One of the things that I think is interesting is... And I didn't even piece this together until I was watching this. Is the characters on the overworld would start to pop up on the screen. Mm -hmm. You know, there's like that little smoke and the poof they appear. Yeah. I realized, wait a minute, that happens in the original Zelda as well. When you face the uh, the Akoths, yeah. they come out of their little shells. And if you go into a world that has a different enemy, like one of the Moblins, they are off screen and they walk on screen first. What is it about programming in this era that made it that the bad guys couldn't be there to start with right. and they had to appear on the screen? After I beat the first dungeon, I'm gonna pass it off to you. But Oh, you're you're fine. I love, I love this game. I can tell. 
I think um, the audience is aware too. It's it's really good. I've beat this game so many times. Um, but are you so enthralled in the game that you didn't hear the question that I asked? Or? Uh, you said something about Zelda and programming, I think. I think you said programming. What makes it that they had to make the bad guys pop up on the screen? Um, Why could the bad guys already be there when you walked in? <clears throat> the It's because of the amount of coding that these systems could handle at the time. You can keep walking while you And the fact that they wanted you to be able to, for example, if you die, if I died right now, mm -hmm. You would have rooms you could go through that were empty. It gives like a little bit of a forgiveness to the difficulty of the game. Same thing on the original NES. And the ability to do both, have enemies in there and have the room be empty. If you've died recently, means it has to take that extra step of processing. So they just started with the room empty, so this way they right. could leave it empty when they wanted to. Yeah. Okay. You have any keys? Uh, yeah, I was, I was asking. I was, I was thinking. You can do the um, labyrinths, not the it's not dungeons. These are not dungeons. That would be copyright. I, I am not in a dungeon right now. I am in a labyrinth. You have a battle axe. A battle axe. This is why I do this dungeon. Not the dungeon. Labyrinth? A labyrinth first is, is for the battle axe. Can I see the battle axe? Uh, you can. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain why when we leave here. Uh, it, is it not going to be evident as you play? <clears throat> no, the battle axe not stronger than that dagger thing you were using? No, it's about the same. It's a little more defensive because it doesn't have quite the same amount of range, but it has a wider berth. Yeah. <clears throat> so, oh, these guys are bitches. What are they? They're little lizard people. Are they the lizards that you you ride on I in the regular I, golden axe? I, I believe so. They do, they I don't look like those bird-like like creatures. But, um... But it's a little more defensive than the uh, than the, the, the dagger. Oh, shit. I'm, there you go. Get your butt kicked I by feel these fire guys. Oh no, whatever shall we do? This is before Link to the Past. And, oh, that's what you do. And I felt the need to clarify that because <laughs> this game is already obviously a direct ripoff of The Legend of Zelda. So when it's not, I want to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you died. So, <clears throat> but this game is very forgiving with deaths. So, you know, is you can, Yeah. Oh, I guess I should have muted that too. Probably. All right. <laughs> I hit the B button. I didn't know how to get out of the menu. Right. Yeah. So B, the B button is the menu, and <clears throat> oh, there's no bad guys in here. Right. Correct. You can go across here too. Anyway, right. You said to the right, and the swoop kind of thing. Right, and then up. Look, Brian knows his way around here so much. To the left. I didn't have a choice in this room. <laughs> up. Brent. To the right. Up and to the right. Up and to the right? Are yeah. you sure? Not just straight to the right? Alright. You don't have to fight these guys. Aww. <clears throat> it's the first opportunity I've had to fight bad guys. Brent's like, no. <laughs> just walk away. Alright. Get all these guys. All right, now you want to get to that door, but don't get hit by the way. Oh, you don't have the key. Go back. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the depth perception there didn't make me think I was going to get hit. All right, now kill all those guys. Because one of them has the key, don't they? Oh. You bastard. I don't know, Brian. I'm trying to make it seem authentic. You're going through the dungeon the first time. You if I went through the dungeon the first time, I would have fought the bad guys. Oh, no, it's not here. Okay, go down. <laughs> Left. You don't know the game at all. You're a son of a bitch. The room where I died, that's where the key is. <laughs> <laughs> so I would have had the key if you didn't suck. Yes, if I had not died, you would have already had the key. Ooh, he whipped me with his tail. Yep. He does. It's really cool move and does a lot of damage, particularly when the key! Who would have thunk it? No. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> Go back. Um, there is a trick. You want me to tell you the trick to killing the boss or do you just want me to let you fight? I'm gonna let you fight. Alright. I love the fact that you debated <laughs> that. You had that whole argument with yourself. Okay. Oh, it's the boss. All right, so. You need to get that. Yeah, there you go. You got it. You got it. Get it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Damn it. Yes! I survived! 
do I get this thing? That's one of the crystals. Yes. I have the crystal. Correct. It's a cute game. Yeah. Uh, in the overall, Wait, now I'm going to leave? You do. This is a flaw. This is a, a I have to walk out of the dungeon? You have to walk out of the dungeon. It does not teleport you. Jesus. <laughs> and, and that's stupid. That is a flaw. This game is not as good as Zelda, for the record. I love this game. Yeah, but it's, it still seems like a cool game. Um, I'm having a hard time with the hit detection. With the, with the overview, <laughs> they, they didn't quite get down the concept of where your character is versus the... For, for those that can't tell from looking at the screen what I'm talking about, if somebody's height makes them touch me on the screen, you shouldn't get hit. Your character should physically be right. next to, but for some reason they don't well, do that. Yeah, here. well, they have the, the problem in the original NES version as well. In this game, it came out before. Like, the the NES version didn't try to do this. Uh, uh, you should free... go, you go back up. I shouldn't even play this, guys. Um, I mean, you should go left. They um, they didn't do the the three dimensional <laughs> concept. Everybody was flushed to the floor. Down. I wasn't paying attention when you walked through here. No, but I told you. I said down. Yeah, but I wasn't listening. That's fair. Take your shot. Oh, um, the listening when I talk. Ah, <laughs> so you're drinking to yourself? Mm-hmm. Because nobody else listens. All right. To the left. To the left, to the left? The, this over map is huge. Uh, hit the, the B button. You see that map to the right? Yes. That's the that's the overworld. So it's huge. It's so much bigger than, than the NES. I don't know where it compares with the like, fast quality. Very similar, but I'm going to compare to NES. What's the grid map to the NES game? Not bad. Look it up. I shall. Thank I you. post them there. And if I'm wrong, I don't know. I, um, no, I just at a glance, I'd agree with you. I'm sure this one's probably bigger. Uh, but I'd be curious to know what the comparison but, is. Go back down. Why? Because I told you to. Swing at the trees. Not that tree. You picked the one tree. Not. I'm swinging this, at this it. Way, it's not this working. Way, this way. Go That's to the right. Like Yay! You can get your two trees. This is why I go here first, is because it makes traversing the map so much easier. Because you can cut down trees. No, it doesn't look. I can't. No, kill those two little green thingies over there. Kill the other one. A secret! <laughs> look how proud you are of that. Look, there's a secret! You can save here. Wait, the secret is I can save? There are so, like, there's so many hidden places and hidden, hidden caves and and hidden shit in this game. Which is why I think that you like it. You like exploring. You like, I do. <laughs> you like cutting down trees? I love cutting down. Anyone who's ever played a Zelda game. <laughs> okay. Aw. So go to the left. Cause so any of the trees that serve as borders you can't cut. Because we need to get Thunder Magic now. Which means we need... All right, where did I go? Down. To the left. No, to the left. I don't listen to you. Then down. We've already established this. Down no, here? Not, like this? No. Hey, how come I can't cut through that? Because you can only cut certain trees. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. And then explore, Brian. <laughs> not here. <laughs> I mean, you can't. There's stuff you can do that nope, you can Nope, nope, you said not you can, there. You can save your game. Well, uh, there's actually a twist at the end of this game. Is that a dead what? baby? It's a, it's a dead something. And you're swacking with your. Is that a dead baby? I have a golden apple. Oh my goodness! If I perhaps we shall need that. Okay, no leave here. Can I use the de the golden <laughs> apple to revive the dead baby? No, they're dead. You stabbed them with your axe like nine times. Only one of them. Okay, up. Why can't I walk over this big crevice in the ground? Because you don't want to die. To the right. And just, here, you for right the off. record, <clears throat> if I was playing this game not for y'all's entertainment, we would go get the big shield right now, but that is a time-consuming process. So we're not going to do that. You are going to go down. I love that you have to give the walkthrough tips. <laughs> At the same time, like someone's going to be sitting there judging you. Why didn't you get the big shield? That's not how you should play this game. I would be judging someone if they're not doing that right now. That's why you don't watch our show. Right, come back. Really? <laughs> to the left, Brent? Is that where you should go? Don't go back up. And you go down. I'm going to die. No, you're going to be fine. Oh, you missed oh, the Oh, I meat. got hit through the meat. Oh, that sucks. That sucked a lot. 
Because I would have full health. Yeah. I would just run. Where should I go? To left. That was close. Then up! Immediately up! Alright, now, you have to do this very specific cut. Do not listen. Okay, back. Okay, go up. Cut that tree. Okay. And then and then the other tree. What's the other one? The one directly ahead of you. The one that I had already yes, cut down? Yes, you did everything right. And now the bottom left. Uh, not not that left. Damn it, Brent. <laughs> that up, one left. Up. And then this left? No, down. Left. This left. Yes. Okay, the controls aren't all that smooth. There you go. You're good at passing. Is it? It's yeah. not. It's not as specific. Like you. It, like you're fine. Okay. Is that wrong though? I no. Both no, of you got it. Okay. So now the what? stairs. The pop up up there. Yeah. Okay. So go back down. And now go around. Yes. And then go left. And then go up. And swipe. Swipe. Swipe right now. Swipe it. Okay. Right. And now kill that ball and don't die. I don't think I can do that. Oh, you're good. Okay. Here. No. It's all the way to the right. But I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Go down, go down, go down. Here? Good, yes. Yeah. Oh, left. Oh, I oh, died! Oh, no! Okay, let me... I'll get a second. No, we're done. That's the end of the episode. No! <laughs> no! Do that! <laughs> he warned me when we started this. He's like, this is going to be a really long episode. I said, why? He said, because you're going to have to make me stop. <laughs> Don't... Did you or did you not say that? I did not. I will let you get back to that spot so you could show us what's in that area. Okay. But then we have to end the episode, oh, Brett. Man. <laughs> this, this game is so. This is this is a really cool game. There's so much more to do, Brian. There's okay, if, if we started <laughs> Legend of Zelda, we, so we made an entire episode out of getting see. lost, going to the ninth dungeon. There's, there's so much more here. Anyway, oh, okay. Who's that? Fella? Go talk to him. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's have to. You heard not to pay me, are you? I am not. I am Gillian. We are going next, and you know that name. I am from a Doris village up north. Oh, it hurts. Can you please bring me a golden apple? It's supposed to cure wounds. We have a golden we apple. We have a golden apple, so we give it to him. And then, and then, and then he says, oh. Boys, he's talking about Death Adder. Yeah, Death Adder attacked his village. He's very sad about it. I'll give you the Thunder Magic Troll. He uses magic to attack enemies from a distance. And then, hey, look, now we have magic. Cool. Let's use it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, Wait, so something that they give you at the very beginning of The Legend of Zelda, <laughs> it takes us this long to get? It's, we've been playing for like four minutes. You guys can check the time counter at the bottom of the video. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's longer than four. It's not. Anyways, and then... No, no, not, use, not, and then. You use the thunder in the second dungeon, it makes the next boss so much easier. Say goodbye, Brent. Goodbye, Brent. <laughs>